acceptance. You are who you are, and you did what you did, and I don't have the power to change that. And when I'm angry at you, I hurt some of the people that I love, who also happen to love you. So, I don't know if that counts as making peace, but that's the best I can do right now. I hope someday we can both do better. But for now, I'll, I'll take that. What's going on, Mike? I don't know, Jocelyn texted me that she'd be here with Dex. Um, look, you all need to know, I just came from Drew's hearing. And, uh, well, the judge gave him three years in Pentonville. Oh, my God. Son of a bitch. It wasn't supposed to be that way. Oh, really, Nina? How was it supposed to be? I mean, there was supposed to be a deal in place, wasn't there? There was, but the judge overrode it. Mom must be devastated. I'll reach out to Drew, help any way I can. I already did. But the U.S. attorney was uh, was shocked as the rest of us. This is completely on the judge. And he wanted to send a message. That there was no... Eva. Oh, you heard. I just, I just did. I, I know. It's awful, isn't it? My mom's not responding to anything. Her phone must be off. Let's go find her. Okay, I'll call you. Go. Okay. How's Carly handling this? Well, how do you think she's ready to go to war for Drew? War with who? I mean, look, this... Even if, if Ned's responsible, he doesn't even know who he is. That's convenient for Ned and the worst possible outcome for Drew. Ava, I did not plan for this, but... Now that it's happened, there, there is a tiny part of me that almost feels sorry for Carly. Well, no, it's, it's a tiny part. I mean, what is she going to do without Drew for three long years? I know, I just feel awkward.